Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. People that love to read. Hi and welcome. So it's good to have you here with us. Here is Nifemi. If you haven't met him, then you must have met him. Our grandson Nifemi. Of course. My husband, Emmanuel. And Emmanuel. <laughs> so I'm sitting between two Emmanuels, though we call this Emmanuel more of Nifemi. In a previous video with Nifemi, I, he and I chatted about how we keep our relationship over the distance and we talked about how we reach times, well, always on Fridays we catch up, we read. So today we just want to do a sample of what we usually do online. And my husband asked me, is this going to be online? I said, like, oh, sure. No. <laughs> okay. But it's a sample, nevertheless. So usually at 9.30 p.m. UK time, 2.30 p.m. Alberta time, we'll be together online on Fridays. But here we are today in person. Exciting. But we'll just do something like what we usually do online. So, are we going to say, hello, dear family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've already said good morning. So, we don't need the hello because we are here in person. Normally, yeah. we would say, hello, dear family, how are you? How was your day? How was school today? <laughs> Where's grandma? If he doesn't see me quick enough. All right, so, well, we can still do some catch up. I'm sure there are some things that we will not. Discuss. discuss yeah so yeah i, I think uh, one thing to discuss is his new school books new school or, books or the things he was leveling in preparation for the next okay school year. you want to tell us what we were doing just this morning and i was labeling my school supplies school supplies we haven't even seen them so since we are here in person Will you bring some of them, let's see? Yes! Oh, yeah! Okay! Emmanuel Elo, Emmanuel Christian Secondary School. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that? Me. Oh, your handwriting. You know, we are not even seeing any, any, any first handwriting. Yeah! Looks good. To the table. It's okay, so everything gets labeled. Wow. Yeah, it's as if you would have been showing us this over online. online, yeah. Mm -hmm. But here we can see them all. But it's still good to be a part of what we've done this morning. Okay, so now that Nifemi has told us about a bit about his morning, yeah. Do you want to share about your own morning, Grandpa? What have you been up to? Ah, uh, yeah. Been been in touch with a few friends a friend called uh, on his way to japan uh, japan then, uh, then, oh yeah <laughs> that's my first uh, his have, dream uh, destination yeah. you should have called him to speak oh, to the uncle sorry about that i forgot i forgot yes did a few other administrative work mm. yeah. you do some of your Work, the course you are working on. Oh yes, I did. I did something on the course, a counseling course we are doing. Yeah. Remember that so, Grandpa and I are doing the course. Did we mention to you that we're doing? A course? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. I think did I do a bit of the coursework too? I yes, think I did, did a little bit of the coursework. Then I've done some video editing, and so today we want to read this book together. What do you do with an idea what do you do with an idea i brought the book to show you because i thought you would like to read it and also i thought that i would like you to read it the book was given to me by the rise up team my mentors in the rise up team in newcastle university signed by the vice chancellor mm. you yeah, sure you forgot oh, yes. <laughs> Nifani, why don't you read the blog what do you do with an idea, especially an idea that's different, or daring, or just a little wild? Do you hide it, walk away from it, 
Do you pretend it isn't yours? This is the story of one brilliant idea and the child who helped bring it into the world. As the child's confidence grows, so does the idea itself. And then, one day, something amazing happens. This is a story for anyone, at any age, who's ever had an idea that seemed too big, too odd. A little or... too big? You missed two words there. Oh, a little too big, too odd, or too difficult. Mm. It's a story to inspire you to, you to welcome that idea, to give it some space to grow, and to see what happens next. Because your idea isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's just getting started. Wow. Well, that's how we do online. He might miss one or two words and would point out, or maybe sometimes his grandpa that misses a word, or I miss a or word. Or a line. And Nifemi would be quick to say, Yeah, grandpa, you too, you missed a word. Okay, so we go to the book. We read as usual one paragraph per person, and in this case, now one page per person. Okay. And as it is, as usual, some pages are shorter than others. Mm -hmm. So, who starts? Who starts? All right. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wonder, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I walked away from it. I just walked away from so? it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. Grandpa's gonna always just so short. <laughs> <laughs> I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Let's see if Grandpa is going to be shot this time. Yes. But there was something magical about my idea. I have to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. <laughs> I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. it I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built a new house, one with an open roof. Built it? I built it a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. 
Then, one day, something amazing happened. Mm -hmm. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Wow. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You, you changed, changed the, the world. world. Yeah, you changed well the world done. with your idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so does anybody have anything they want to say about this? You go first. Um, what I liked about the book was how the art was. As the idea grew, so did the color. It added more color. It, because it went from a monochrome like to having this much color to full color as the idea grew. Wow. Wow. Do you know, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, uh, yeah, that was a good thing. Yeah. Me, me fair yes. notice. It became brighter, brighter and brighter. And brighter, and bigger, and brighter. Right? brighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he has multiple smaller ideas in the back. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yes. A lot of other small ideas in the background, like multiplying like yeah. you said multiple mm -hmm. smaller ideas yeah for me whatever the idea keep it work with it yeah so don't be afraid of yeah yeah what your idea is sharing it with other people but just keep at keep your idea and work at it yeah I'm talking about sharing it with other people. Some people would like the idea and they say, what a beautiful idea. Others will say, what a weird idea. This can never fly. This can go anywhere. But it's your idea, right? So nurture it and keep going with it. And maybe look for those people that will say good idea and give you good advice about it encourage you speak good things people that speak good things i would share the idea but if somebody has told me what nonsense or it can't fly then i won't be arguing with the person i won't spend my time arguing with the person i'll spend more time with people who see sense in what i'm saying and who will encourage me yes and i, I like also the end of it where it says your idea will change the world what Ever idea we have when we work with it it will affect other people yeah it might be only one person but it would have brought about a change it might bring it will bring about a change in in ourselves but it could change potentially change others and then change our world yeah and when it changes one person if we say only one person you don't know who that one person will go on ahead and share with and change. Yeah. Um, I like how they also, when they did it, they added even more color to help people like think. Okay, so the idea added like the small bits of color in the beginning, mm -hmm. and now it's everywhere, and now there's color everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I like the idea of color everywhere that you bring. So that's mm -hmm. like changing things. Yeah. It brightens places that one goes to brighten the place with your idea brighten the lives of people with our idea can any of us think of an example of maybe your idea that you shared with another person that made things better for them different or an idea that somebody shared with you that's well, changed I, things for you i think even this idea of reading with um Mife, yeah. It's well, true. it was.
Okay. Was it your idea? <laughs> no, sir. But it's an idea that somebody shared with us. So ah, it was okay. Caroline shared the idea with me. Okay. My city group leader. Mm -hmm. And when I thanked her, she told me it's actually Sally's idea. Our pastor. Okay. So that's really an example of how your idea changes one person to another and changes the world. And I have shared the idea with many other people. And we're now sharing it with our audience. Yeah. <laughs> so that's an idea. That's an example. Thank you so much for that. That's an example of how an idea has changed our own world in our family. Yeah. And the idea that oh, you can. It was already the COVID, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And the idea that you can keep in touch with your family abroad this way when you can't travel to see them. It's changed us. And after three and a half years of not seeing one another, we met up again and it was as if we were together last week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with Nifemi and with Simi, his younger brother. Imagine Simi was just like six months old when we last mm -hmm. saw him. And now... <laughs> He's just like one of us. He, there was no strangeness in his meeting us because of one idea that somebody shared with us. Sure. Yeah. Simi, if Simi is in the day home now, but if he were here, he would also have been sharing his own stories. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So. Any other thing you want to say? Uh, nothing more. Okay. I think it's... So that's how we roll, and I would want to read the back log of the book yeah he said what do ideas become big things brave things smart things silly things good things things like stories artwork journeys inventions communities products and peers so, so what, what will, will become, become of your, your idea? idea that, that is, is up to you, you. Yeah, so then we will pray. If I mean, do you have any prayer points? Um, for my piano practice that will go well this weekend and for the pizza party at the library that I'll be going to tomorrow. Pizza party? That sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, and well, should we pray out to your... School and visit my today. school orientation so this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Right. Yeah. We should pray about our trip. Yeah, our trip back to Calgary. Yeah. And then. Rama. Hi, John. Come on, show your face. Come on. You're welcome. A moment. Hey, you just well, you said that you would like to try for me. Come, come this you. way so we can see you. Come this way. Come and show your face. Come on. Yeah. Can I go behind right. it? Come here. As you normally would do. <laughs> I will go behind the phone and don't see me. Yeah. If <laughs> any. That's mine. That's John's. <laughs> okay, we're about to pray. Do you want to pray with us? Yeah. Okay. Let's pray then. So, uh, pray for our trip this afternoon. If I you pray for our trip back to Calgary mm -hmm. and pray that it will be a nice time in Calgary. Grandpa, you will pray for Nifemi's pizza party yeah. and his piano lessons. Yeah. I don't have fun. And the school orientation. I will pray for the school orientation. Okay. Simi, we will also pray for Simi that you have a good rest of his afternoon. Okay. If you said. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I praise you. Thank you for this day. I pray that when the trip to Calgary will be good, it will be smooth, there will be no accidents along the way. Mm -hmm. I also would like to pray that they will enjoy the rest of the time in Calgary and the rest of the time in other places in Canada yes. and their trip back to Newcastle will be smooth when it's time to go mm -hmm. in Jesus name Amen. Amen Lord we pray for Nifemi we thank you so much for all you're doing mm -hmm. and we thank you for his school mm -hmm. and we pray for the visit 
to the school, the orientation visit to the school this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Very nice one. The whole family will have a good time. Thank you that we are able to be a part of this orientation visit. So whenever he speaks to us about school, we'll have a picture in our mind of where he is. We give you glory and praise in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And Lord, we pray for Mifa's um, piano lesson mm -hmm. tomorrow, that it will go well. For the pizza party, pizza party. Okay. it will be a beautiful time. Thank you for John. May that his rest of the day will be good and smooth. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we also pray for Nifa and Simi's parents that you be with them, bless them at their workplaces, <coughs> and be with them in all that they do and continue to give them a good time together as a family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's us. Hope you had fun reading with us and thinking through idea matters with us. Thank you very much for joining us today and we hope to see you again in the next video. Till then, bye. 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 Oh, we didn't tell them to share. Listen, say something about sharing. You know they share this video with um also please like and share the video of other people that you'd like to share this idea with yep bye bye and if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you do so so you can get all the good content we'll be bringing your way and remember to drop comments too we'd love to hear what you think about this Thank you.